everybody, and welcome back to Glacial Awakening. Man, oh man, we are going to start by doing some, well, some busy work. Any books yet? No, still no books. Okay. I hope we get getting enchanted books from that bamboo thing, but I'm not getting them. It's really wearing on me a little bit. But today, before we get into anything else, I want to get straight into some actual terraforming. So, this natural aura thing that I'm into, it requires some multi-block structures, and I just need some space that hopefully is not covered by snow. Unfortunately, we are playing in an older version of Minecraft that does not have the brand new 19.19.3 game rule where you can not have snow layers pile up, so I'm just going to constantly get those snow layers. That's a little annoying, but I mean, I guess this is just what you got to deal with when you're dealing with the Arctic wasteland or frozen planet, whatever. I got to sleep. Now, in order for me to do a lot of landscaping, I actually need cobblestone, and I don't have any cobblestone. I have like one piece of cobblestone left, so I'm gonna take my precious, precious iron pickaxe and go mining. I don't think I'm gonna get any iron ore. I think I have to use this whole convoluted way of getting it right now, but at least for right now, I should be able to get some sort of ore, coal, I don't know what else, but I think before we go into this, I'm gonna have to grab a whole stack of this and make some more charcoal with my fire starter, so. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Throw this right here, and then I think I just throw them on the ground for about five seconds. Oh, no, I just picked up too soon. Too soon. There we go. Yeah, turn into charcoal right now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. All right, not bad. Not bad. It's not a bad system. Okay, and then we'll just go here and here. All right, cool. That should be enough for at this moment. So uh, I'm going to put some stuff away. I'm going to go down and go mining just for a little while before we get into really doing any any major quests and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get some ores and who knows, maybe I'll even find something surprising because uh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd really like to get some more iron ore. I'd really like, hopefully, to find a way to smelt it a, a lot easier than what I, I currently can because it's, it's pretty awful. It's pretty awful at the moment. Wow, that was my whole iron pickaxe. That did not take long at all to burn right through. I got a little bit of, I think this turns into aluminum, I think, this bauxite ore. Uh, lithium, some surge quartz, that is uh, potentially really cool if I could get automatic power and, and storage. I got some copper, I got a lit tin ore, a little bit of boron, and uh, not even a full stack of cobblestone. Some zen, whatever that is, and some aquamarine from that hearthstone mod. Okay, so, uh, you know, oh, I can't even get that. I can't even get that because I, I broke my pickaxe. Well, that's, I mean, that's a little bit disappointing that I didn't get more than that from an iron pickaxe that is pretty difficult to make. So, unfortunately, blah, I probably should have just gotten three cobblestone and used a stone pickaxe, but uh, I don't know if I have the patience for it, to be totally honest. It just, it's so slow. Well, looking back at the, well, you know, I was going to say looking back at the book, but actually before we do the book, what I need to do is I need to make a couple shovels. Like maybe we'll make, I don't even know, like one, let's just do five shovels. Okay. We're just going to go do five shovels and just collect the snow and get it the heck out of here. I, unfortunately, I don't really even want the snow. I'd like to just not collect it, but I, I can't because it will, uh, yeah, it, it, it'll not break. It'll not, the Ultimine thing will not work unless I'm, I'm using a, uh, a shovel. So you can't use your just bare hand on this one, unfortunately. But this is going to be good because we're going to get a lot of snow. I'm just going to let it all despawn because honestly, I don't care. Uh, so, okay. So this is pretty good. All this will spread out along here. I am going to have to put up another border uh, because that mythical grass, whatever it's called, will absolutely wreck uh, my my new grass that I'm just getting here. So I'm going to have to border this in somehow. Uh, let me see. I'll go get some, maybe some wood and do that. Oh man, I really, yeah, I need to make a storage crate for all, the, all this, all this snow. Let's see. Let's make a big storage crate. Uh, that'll be, that'll be helpful. And, and, and you know, honestly, they're pretty expensive right now. I wonder how many are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So like hundred and twenty seven or hundred and seventeen, right? Uh spots. Or hundred and seventeen stacks. That's actually a lot. That's actually a lot because a right a storage crate can only hold thirty two until you upgrade it. And when I say storage crate, I keep saying the wrong thing. I mean storage drawers is what I am attempting to say. So I don't know. Should, maybe you should make a, a just a crate for snow. Maybe. Well, those upgrades are are pretty easy, actually. How do you have to? How do you get to the? You have to at 
there, there's only this mod. Do you have to do this this sort of special way? Yeah, okay. You know what? We're just gonna do this. We'll just do this. So yeah, just put up. Let's see. It's just this like that. I you know I always forget because it changed in a later version of Minecraft. And I always forget kind of which one I'm playing. So we'll put this here right here. And oh yeah, you only get six. That's why that didn't work. All right. So this is gonna be my place to just bury all my snow because. Because I have a lot of it. I have so much snow. I bet it's going to be full. Eh, not quite. Not quite full, but pretty darn close. Getting close anyway. All right. So then I got this. Put this all back. No, thank you. And for right now, I think that's okay. The one thing I got to do is I got to I, I gotta uh, box this off. So let's do that. And then we'll figure out what is next as far as questing goes. I just need more room. You know, I just need more space. All right, then, let's hop into the quest. I think we are, well, you know, it looks terrible, but okay, let's get into the quest. So we're down here in the natural altar. This is all so new to me. I'm very interested in, oh, what is this quest reward? That looks really cool. Okay, use the book of natural aura to build the multi-block natural altar. You can click on the eye in the book to display a hologram to help you build it. Okay, yeah, you can use any wood plank in the construction. That's helpful. Okay, so... I'm, looks like I'm going to need an environmental eye. That's kind of cool. And to do this, again, I need the ritual of the forest. So I already kind of know how to do that. So let's make that first. One gold ingot, two gold leaves, and a spider eye. Okay, well, we can probably work this out. So I got I got my two gold leaves. I'll, I'll separate those so I know which one is which. I definitely have spider eyes. Okay, uh, just one, please. And I'm going to need a sapling to sort of finish it off. And do I have a gold ingot? That's kind of the question. Oh, my goodness. I have just enough. Oh, my goodness. I have one additional nugget. That's not great. That's not great at all. Oh, no, wait. I have 60. I have 65 nuggets. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe it's maybe it's a little, little greater than I thought. That's fine. Fine. No problem. Okay, let's go put these out and do this ritual. Now, last time it was very quick, so hopefully it will be just as quick this time. Y'all enjoying this pack? I know it's a little older, and and it, the smarter move for YouTube would have been probably to do a modern pack. But, you know, uh, I I care about the storyline, and I care about doing something that that's uh, creative and fun and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, hopefully you're having a good time with it. Now, if I were to guess, this is not working. The tree grew really fast, but it does not seem to be working. Okay, we got to check out the ritual. So, let's see. Where's that ritual? Is it this one? Mm, no. Is it... How do you go back? Darn it. Darn it. Back but back key. Back key. Okay. Is it this one? Ritual of the Force. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's take a look. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. May, uh, I need... Oh, what the heck am I even looking for right now? I, I think it said that I need the... Okay, well, let's just take a look at the quest book. It didn't show me very obviously there. Yeah, Ritual of the Forest. Maybe they have to be in a certain certain sort of layout. Spider Eye, and these are across from each other, and then the gold ingot. Is that what I have? I, You know, I don't. I don't, so perhaps this one is wrong? Maybe? Let's do this one. Okay, do they have to be in that certain order? Now, that does not seem to be working at all. Um, hmm. I, you know, I don't remember. Do I have to use... Can I use anything to cut this down? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can. All right, well, I got another... Got a whole bunch of saplings. Let's give this a shot again. Is that going to work now? What am I doing wrong here? I feel like I'm doing something very obvious, that, but not quite right. Oh! No, no, that's just tree to screw. What the heck, man? You know what I just realized? Around this thing, I think you have to have that gold stuff, and I think it seems like it's all gone. It seems like it's all gone. I don't know. Uh... Unfortunately, I have I maybe it gets used up once per ritual. Now, you know, <clears throat> fortunately, I can you know, I have lots more. I can infect more trees and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I think maybe that was the issue. Let me see if I'm right here. So, we'll put this around here like this. And see, maybe that maybe that's what's going on cuz I I do remember from that from last episode. So, okay, everything is is out here. Let's see if this one works. Is this going to work? I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. That's the issue. Okay. All right. So whenever this goes, I should get this environmental eye. It just took everything. Oh, there we go. Ah, yes. Thank you, environmental eye. Very cool. Okay. What does this thing do? It just It's just an achievement. It says create. Okay. Create environmental eye to see the aura in the area. Uh, do you see any aura? Anyone? 
<laughs> see any aura? I do not see any aura. Okay. Well, regardless, let's that's one quest done. Let's check out the next thing. Now, the next one is I have to check the natural altar. So, uh, the natural altar right there. Oh, geez, it's a big one. Okay. The, a rudimentary yet effective way of collecting aura early on is the natural altar. After creating a setup shown on the following page, the altar will slowly start draining aura in the vicinity. However, it's not strong enough to call, ma cause major damage. That's good. That's just what I wanted. Making it only drain until there is none left in the area. It's not, it is not strong enough to cause major damage. Okay, yeah, great. The collected aura can then be used as in the following page. Okay, well, okay, so it looks like I need stone brick. It looks like I need some mossy stone brick, possibly. Um, and I need that thing in the middle. Now, to make the thing in the middle, let's worry about that first. I need a token of joy, a leaf, and a gold ingot. Crap, how do, I, I gotta make this vibrant fiber too. I'm gonna make, oh, that, that requires gold too. Everything requires gold. Ah, okay, well, hmm. Okay, that does kind of change things. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do next here. Let me do a little bit of research. I'm not exactly sure how to how to go, unless I just have to farm up more gold and boo for that. So the first thing that I can do, I think, is actually make do the ritual first. Now I have learned that I'm gonna have to do. Uh, the uh, the outline. So I don't think I f I don't feel like this needs to be balanced. I, I I mean it would say somewhere probably if it did. However, I do need this. So huh, one thing I don't know is how many. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Wait, no. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. Okay, so you need sixteen. Fine. So I can make that many more. Okay, cool. I don't really want to waste this stuff because I don't have that many of those fibers. All right, let's see if this works. Hopefully this will give me the altar thing and then I can work on start kind of collecting the materials I need for the big altar after that. Is it going to grow? Come on, grow, buddy. You can do it. Oh, yeah. As expected, whenever it grows, uh, these these don't need to be placed in the right spot. So that's actually going to save me some time for later on, just knowing that. But watch all my gold go away. Oh, boo. Boo for losing 16 of those leaves every single time I do a ritual. But yay for getting and no, uh, uh, and oh, come on, bro. You're, you're ruining the suspense here. An altar. An altar. There we go. I knew it was coming. Okay, cool. Let's sleep, and then we'll figure out the other half of this, which is create that big multi-block thing. I just started reading the next quest, and it says, music to my ears. It says natural altar or processing. With the natural altar, you can process your ore significantly more quickly and easily compared to the bloomer. I'm almost crying. I'm almost tearing up right now. I'm so happy. Though the yield will be slightly lower for I don't care at all. Not even a little bit. You can also automate the altar by placing a hopper on the sides of the natural altar. Items that can be pulled from the bottom via hopper or other device. That's amazing. Okay, then. All right. Now... I am inspired to make this natural altar thing. So let's see how you got to make it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of hoping that I can see a little better. It looks like I'm gonna need oak planks. Oh man. Okay. You know what? I, I, let's find a let's find a spot for it because it is gonna not show me a close up of this thing unless I just put it down on the ground. This is a little trippy. It's a little trippy walking through this thing. Where are we gonna put this thing? Uh, how about over? Jeez, I don't know. Uh, uh, on the ice? No, I don't want to put it on the ice. How about? How about just a little bit further away? Like right here. There we go. Can I? Oh, do I have to? Okay, now, now it's showing. Okay, cool. All right, so it looks as though I need 49 blocks. A lot of this oak oak logs. Do I have oak logs? Yeah, oh, geez, I'm going to just need all of them. Okay, we'll do all of them, and let's put it right there. That's not the right place. I think it's going to have to go in the ground. Okay, that's fine. This is, geez, this is really hard to see. Okay, yeah? Okay. All right, we're going to have to put this in the ground. I'm going to do this off camera. I thought those were mossy blocks, but they're not. They're a special modded version called, like, golden something something or other. So I'm going to need some grass for sure, and I'm probably going to need some leaves. So let's just take some of these. I have some leaves from the bonsai plants, but they're, they're not that many, not that plentiful. So hopefully with this and some gold nuggets, I can make at least a couple more of these golden golden leaf things. So let's see if I can... It's fibers, right? I'm pretty sure it's fibers. F-I-B-E-R. There it is right there. Okay, let's just make like two of those. I have. I knew I had three, but I think I need a few more than that. Now, to do this, I mean, yeah, each one of these is... Oh, no, I've got to get back. Is... Uh, this so I need a couple of those and um, 
I think it's just combined with bricks. So I, ha I have some bricks. Let's just do like, I don't, I have no idea how many I need. Oh, by the way. Oh my, by the way, I got to show you this. So this quest reward I got, this is so slick. Like, let's find something that I have here. For example, fibers. If I want to make this with the, using this thing and there doesn't, it's only range 20. So you got to be close. But look, watch this. Boom. It actually pulls it out of near out of these chests here. So everything can be in chess. And then when I do this, it, it, it just pulls the items I need out. That's so cool. It's so cool. Also, I got one vine. I got one vine in this thing and I took my vine and I placed it down here on the bottom just so it will grow because I may need more vines. And I want to have a few options available. Hopefully one will grow soon. Might be able to bone meal. I don't actually even remember. So, okay. So this thing's still showing now. Let's see if I can work this out. It's, it looks to me that that oh 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 look at jai it tells you is there anything supposed to be down there i don't see anything i don't see it let's put a dirt okay it looks like stone brick and then stone brick and then up here is golden right golden stone i think it looks like that is really hard to tell though honestly it's just oh this is you know what this is i bet this is chiseled aha i have I have a couple. Of, I don't know if I got those for quest rewards or, or what, but luckily, <laughs> luckily I have them. Okay, I think the last thing is this puppy right there, and it says complete. And it looks as though, oh, look at it. Look, it is pulling aura. It is pulling aura. Oh, man. I run a process and ore so badly right now, uh, but I'm not exactly sure how. <laughs> I think maybe I can just click it. Should we just try it? Should I just try it? I mean, if it, oh, and it's, I can just automate it with a couple hoppers. So now if I could just get more iron ore a little easier, then I can just throw it in there, man. All right. We're on the fast track to actually knowing how to do a couple things. I want to see, though, do I have any ores? Um, any ore? Uh, this is immersive engineering. I'm not sure that that will work. There's my one iron ore. Let's do the one iron ore and just see if it works. Because, oh, man. I know I'll only get one. And I know if I use the other system, I'd get, like, 13 ingots or 13 nuggets or something along those lines. But I don't I don't care. Let's let's see if this works. Can I put this iron in? Let's see. What's it, what's it going to do? Oh, it's doing something. There's definitely some magic happening there. <gasps> oh, dude. What? I got 12. I got 12. I got more than nine. I got more than nine. Okay, that one doesn't work. All right, so, so maybe only vanilla ores, but that's super cool, super cool. Okay, okay, so I, you actually do get a little bit more than one ingot worth. I am so excited. The next class we have is to get this ancient sapling. Now, this is interesting, and we're a little bit worrisome. The ancient tree will restore the aura in the era by draining the aura from its leaves. It will not generate excess aura. It will only restore back to neutral half the bar. However, it will still lose its leaves. Okay. That's a little concerning. So that means the aura is going to get drained down. Now, I think that it said that the ritual thing that I have right now can't, will not take all the aura. It will not permanently damage it, but it does seem like it will be reducing it. So to make this, now the good thing is it works on bonsai trees. So I'm going to have to definitely make more of those at some point soon. Looks like you get some pretty cool stuff here. But to make the original, it's another ritual of the forest. So we can do this. I need seed, leaf, dandelion okay let's let's see if we can grab some of those things now my my little my little my new little tricky thing is not going to work for this so i'm going to need let's see i definitely need that too uh oh you know what i'll just do this on camera this is ridiculous oh it's combat you want huh oh, man why do these, so many so many of these player mobs so many you know if they had better skins and not like i i understand most people don't play like the hyper role-playing realistic like medieval thing i i get that but if they had medieval skins or something it might be kind of cool to have those in sort of you know other other games or other worlds like my survival world that could be really fun so okay so here's what we gotta do i gotta put these three things down here and then put these over here in in any order i say probably and then i think once that tree grows i think we should get uh the sapling that i'm looking for if i did it right i forgot the gold dust I did. I forgot the gold dust again. Yet again, even though I know, even though I absolutely know better, I totally forgot the gold dust. So we got to cut down this tree and try it again. Luckily, I don't lose the items. Like in Thomcraft, remember remember Thomcraft, the ritual thing? If, if you blew it, like you lost all your items and probably created a bunch of flux in the world and all that kind of stuff. It was incredibly horrible <laughs> if you messed it up. This, this not, not so painful. Not as painful of a penalty if you mess it up. So fortunately, uh, that is, that is cool. Oh, man, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the worst idea ever to infect another tree. I only have two. Maybe maybe like this so it spreads through. Yeah. 
I'll do that. So it'll spread throughout this entire giant epic tree. Okay. That's cool. And you know, while we're here, while we're here, just waiting for this ritual to go, maybe I'll do just a little bit of landscaping because I have a couple of these random blocks and also this ice has been bugging me a lot, but I'm too nervous to break it because I think I'll turn into water and that's really annoying. So what we're going to do is, uh, is that done yet? Oh, it is. Look, I got it. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So I'm going to put that in a bonsai tree. I, the only reason why I wanted that dirt is because I have like a, there's a hole that I'm going to fall in for sure. Is it right here? Yeah, yeah it's right right there i think i think that was the whole or maybe there's another one i don't even know all right let's go put this in a bonsai tree and or bonsai pot and we'll get this going now uh hey sugar cane's working really well dark oak's working really well what's over here what am i getting over here i'm getting dark oak again i probably don't need that much dark oak so let's go ahead and break this guy right here put that back uh put the dirt back and plant this is it working? Yeah, it is working. Okay, cool. So now I should start getting this stuff. Now, this is going to take a while to grow, unfortunately. You know, I could do another one, but again, everything costs materials, and I don't have that much extra. So I'm getting another sapling right now. Should I just plant it? Maybe I should. Maybe I should plant I'm going to plant up. Mm, now, let's just combine. I have an oak up there that's kind of chugging along and working. Plus, I have the dark oak, too. And that dark oak is cool because it's going to give me better looking wood, <laughs> in my own humble opinion. And also, it'll give me uh, apples. So that's good too. Okay, so we got two of these growing now. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, no more apples, unfortunately, from that. But that's all right. We have zombie flesh to eat, and we are totally fine with that. Next step. Oh, I like, you know what? I like what I'm seeing up here. You know what? Actually, I was going to say next step, but why don't we wrap up today's episode now? Because I do want to do a lore segment. I want Fred to check in with James and sort of give him an update, even though he's sleeping in a coma. I want him to talk to James every once in a while and just see where James is, or Fred's mental state is and, and what he's working on, what his hopes and dreams are and all that kind of stuff. So we'll hit a, a lore segment probably in middle of the episode. Or do we do them in the middle or at the end? No, we'll do it right now. Let's do it then. We'll do a lore segment right now, and I'll see you all next episode. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Hey, James. I really hope this will be the last time I come down here to talk to you. I want to move you up top, but I just don't have a place for you yet. It's been a few days, and I'm basically established above ground again. The thing is, our base, our giant house, is gone. I think the storm we weathered underground completely covered it in ice and snow. The landscape is so different since our time in the Arctic wasteland and frozen planet, I don't even recognize it. To be honest, it's like I'm starting out again, but this time, without you or Edwin. Man, even if we could talk to Edwin in the past, I wish I knew what was happening with them. I've been learning so much recently about this natural magic. It seems like it's all about healing and balance, and I'm thinking, if anything could bring you back, maybe it's this. I remember Edwin telling us about his old apprentice, Bob. When Edwin was trapped in a prison by the Mage Council, Bob learned natural magic, and it was able to create a powerful spell to pull Edwin out of prison. But the thing is, it bounced Bob far, far away. My thinking is, if I learn more about this natural balance magic, perhaps I can figure out some way to bring you back, and then... When it's late at night and I'm trying to sleep, I think maybe, just maybe, I can use it to save us from this winter wasteland. <laughs>